Okay, in this video, I just want to share with you briefly how to launch software applications. Because um, I do get questions like this in class, and it can be a little bit confusing. So when you're looking at your desktop here, you have, um, these are called shortcuts here on your desktop. So this one opens up a file that's a Microsoft Word file. This opens up an Excel file. This opens up a folder. You can also have links to places on the internet. This is a, a web page. But some people, um, sometimes people will go to their desktop and they're like, okay, that's all great, but where are my programs? And they're right here in the very corner. This is called the Start button. And you have some programs that'll show automatically. These are things that I've used uh, recently. But let's say you don't have what you need here. Everything is going to be listed under your All Programs button here. So I clicked it once to open it up, and I have a scroll bar here that will enable me to scroll through the folders. So there's a few things here that are outside of folders. They're common things that you might use. But I um, advise students to come on down here to the Microsoft Office folder, and you click on it once, and it shows you these are all the Microsoft software application, application programs that are listed within Microsoft Office. So in our class, we are going to cover Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. And so you'll access them by hitting your Start button, and then All Programs, which will be here, and then your Microsoft Office folder. So let's take a look. When you see Microsoft Word, you would just click on it one time. The hand means usually one click, and now it launches the program. And it actually launched it in my other screen, so I apologize. So this is what it looks like there. That's a Microsoft Word blank document. You can also go in here, All Programs, Microsoft Office, and you can grab your Excel, one click, and it will open up an Excel file. And there you go. That is what an Excel file looks like. And lastly, let's take a look at a PowerPoint, All Programs, Microsoft Office, and PowerPoint. Now there's lots of other programs in here, but we don't cover them in our class. But you can certainly check them out, and I'm happy to answer questions about them in class as well. They're all, um, they're all pretty awesome, I have to say. Okay, so you can disregard this one. You won't get this. This is because I have the recording video software. So this is a blank um, how to start working in PowerPoint with the um, the extra tool that I have that you all won't have. So yours will open and it will look like, um, sorry I'm losing my mouse here, a new blank presentation. So it will open up with a blank presentation. Okay, let's try it there. There we go. That's what you should see. Okay, and you have three buttons over here. Uh, you won't have this one. This is a button for something for something unrelated to class. So you have a minimize button here, and when you do that, it puts it onto the taskbar down here. And as I hover over this button or click on it once, it shows me I have two files open. And I can click on it and bring it up. So you can you can minimize. And you can do this button here, which is maximize, it makes it the full screen or it makes it part of the screen. So you can slide like that. And here's this one. You can minimize it to the taskbar, partially clo close it, or this is closing the application completely. And that totally closes it. One more quick, trip I'll, quick trick I will show you is down here in your taskbar. When you hover each, hover over each one of these buttons, it will show you the document you have open, right? But you can also right click on it and then hit a show window side by side and it tiles your two documents next to each other. That's really handy when you're trying to compare something. Okay, I believe that is it. So I hope that was helpful.